Greetings, Internet. Welcome to Aaron Plays. In this episode, and it's going to be a brief one, I want to discuss two of the games I'm looking forward to playing in the near future, which I did put in my previous poll. These are Ambush and the other one is Warfighter. Ambush came out in 1983, but I've only just recently picked it up. I've been wanting it since then, um, but just never got either got around to it, could afford it. Whatever, it was, it was out of print when I could have accessed it. Um, but I recently picked up Ambush and its three expansions. So I thought, right, let's start reading the rules and working my way through it. And I was very intrigued. And yes, I want to get to the table as soon as possible. Warfighter, I've had for a while. I've had since 2018, dabbled with it back then. Then again, after that, it just sat on the shelf, doing nothing, doing nothing, doing nothing. <clears throat> with the purchase of Ambush, but wait a minute, this is very similar to, well, in its scale, to Warfighter. Um, in Ambush, you have a team, squad, of um, eight larger-than-life characters, shall we say. Um, as, a, as I'm reading the rules, it has a very cinematic feel to it. I've watched a few YouTube playthroughs, and yes, it does have a cinematic playthrough as well. Um, so, same as Warfighter. It's it's the Hollywood version of World War II, um, from what I remember playing in 2018. Um, so, well, and you have, again, between normally two to up to eight characters in that. So it's the same sort of scale, but obviously done with a completely different mythology. You have Ambush, which uses an actual map, counters, and programmed paragraphs. So it's like you're one of those adventure booklets. Um, so you get... Just opening the box just to show. I mean, most of you, I should imagine, know, um, know of Ambush or played Ambush, but if you haven't, um, you get a paragraph in front of the camera. It does help, doesn't it? There we go. Everything's backside first when you're looking at it on the camera. So there we go. So Ambush paragraph booklet. So it's it's like, and, and, and in here you get paragraph references. I'll get focused on that, so um, which you're sent to as you go go your way through. Um, so, like one of those books, the adventure books at uh, fighting fantasy or, or whatever, you read a paragraph and it sent you to the next paragraph. Or when you were moving on a hex, you were sent to a particular paragraph. Um, so, just showing you what that you you get. Hold on, yeah, getting out of the box. Multiples of these references, which sit inside one of these, and as you line up different hexes on the map, it tells you which paragraph to read. Um, in the actual box of ambush, I think there's there's eight missions. Um, each of those missions has multiples of these cards as you're working your way through. But there's only two maps. Uh, the maps aren't large. We, we're going to be looking at this kind of size. We'll do it again. This kind of size map. Uh, with only two maps, I'm not sure what the variability will be in the actual scenarios. I think the only one way to find out is to play it. Also, what's the replayability of each scenario? Don't know. Um, it, I have read that obviously the basic what's happening will be the same, but how you approach it, different angles of attack and such will reveal different things at different times. So hopefully, and also if you're playing mission one and then don't do mission one again for another two or three years, Hopefully the replayability will be massive. Um, so my intention is to, I'm not going to learn that 
system and play mission one of it and see how it goes. See if I enjoy it and such forth. And as I said, I do have um, Move Out, which was the first expansion, Purple Heart, which was the second, and Silver Star, which I think is the third. Um, so with those, there's an extra 20 odd missions in total. So yeah, there's there's enough replay there. Um, and yeah, I mean, my ambush isn't in mint condition. The other three are, but it's all there. I've checked it, it's, everything's intact. The box is intact. So very inside, excited about that. Um, yeah, 1983, not bad quality for its time and place. Warfighter, right, well, this is a lot more modern. Uh, I think this came out originally in 2016, okay? And yeah, it doesn't use a map as such. It uses a board, which is opening the box. Um, and on there, you place various cards. It's got a, a decent size rule book. I worked my way through this. And I did dabble with this when I first got it in about 2018. I played, I played about two or three scenarios, um, two solo and, and one with other players. So this can play up to one to one to six players, whereas Ambush is a, a solo game, but you could play it cooperatively. Um, what I remember of this was very narrative. The rules didn't seem as tight as I would normally like them to be, but it does cover most of the things in there. Um, whereas, Ambush is programmed instructions with the paragraphs. This works on card, card draws. So the enemy AI is using cards and what your actions are, are dictated by cards. You're moving across the board, um, not board, moving across locations to an objective. Um, and there's multiple objective cards, multiple location cards, um, and multiple mission cards, so the replayability, plus also the way that you construct your squad, because both games you construct your squad. Um, with Ambush, you get points to spend, and you've got different points for, for different skills for different soldiers, whereas in Warfighter, you get points to spend, and you buy a card which has the information of that particular soldier on him. Um, so, again, similarities but differences. So I thought if I did mission one of Ambush and a mission from Warfighter, doing both, um, I can then make a, a proper comparison between the two. I could then also put the uploaded um, playthroughs of each game as various episodes in my channel. So you guys get to see me struggle my way through both games. Um, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the, in the comment section. Um, hit the like button, as, as, as always. It's much appreciated when you do so, because that increases the algorithm and, and other people to get to see me on this channel. Um, and subscribe if you haven't done so. Again, much appreciated. So that's my thoughts. That's what I'm planning to do. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Until next time, bye, Internet. Mm -hmm.